U.S. attorney for Colorado says our state is striking out when it comes to legalized recreational pot. Bob Troyer says marijuana has not produced the monetary benefits promised and has created a long list of problems. Investigator Rick Saunders spoke with him today and he likens the pot rush, Rick, to the gold rush. He does care, and the outgoing U.S. attorney says Colorado has been descended upon by those seeking wealth from marijuana and leaving behind a trail of problems ranging from underage usage to destruction of the environment. Before he goes out the door, U.S. Attorney Bob Troyer has a message of caution for the public on marijuana. That message, it's not turned out to be what it was billed. Has it led to less crime? Absolutely not. It has not led to a reduction in crime. For example, he points to what he calls a booming black market for cannabis. We have now, for the first time in the history of Colorado, become literally a theater of operation for international drug trafficking organizations. He cites Chinese, Cuban, and Mexican groups renting or buying houses next door, growing pot, and selling it out of state. Marijuana can be produced in Colorado under the cover of the legalization scheme uh, and sold uh, back east at uh, three, four, five times its value here. And he says that is just the start. Pot clubs, foreign investment, marijuana delivery services. He points to businesses licensed by the state but still violating federal law. If they're still causing harm to the environment or to our youth, or to a community, they should in fact fear federal prosecution. He mentions disguised pot smoking devices sold to kids, part of the wild west of marijuana. To exploit the gold rush while it still exists. I asked if the legalization of recreational pot in other states like California is taking off some of the pressure from Colorado. The answer? No sign of it yet. Live at Federal Court, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. All right.